Well, as she usually does on Tuesdays, Kelly Trevino has dropped by. She with the Better Business Bureau. And Kelly, as the week began, we've had a report on yet another story of people being scammed by skimmers yep. at the gas pump this time. Uh, you and I were talking and you sent me these pictures. These look like computer parts. <laughs> uh, yes, they are, actually. These are inside the actual gas pumps. And, um, and that's different than what we have normally been seeing, right? It is, it is. And, and these were actually from last year. What's happening is we've got scam artists that are going in, open up, opening up the casing, installing these Wi-Fi wires. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know the technical term. Um, but they install this, and then they sit in a car in the parking lot, and they steal your information and actually make credit cards right there in their car before wow. you're done pumping gas. So they've taken this to a whole different level then. Yes, and so a lot of the skimmers, you can look on the outside for some of the skimmers, uh, but a lot, a lot of the devices are being installed inside the uh, machines themselves. Now this is a worry because a lot of folks are traveling for the holidays, but you've got some advice for folks. Just it's some extra steps you need to take to kind of keep yourself safe, right? Right, and, 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 and be aware that there may be a device inside the machine that you may not be able to see, but for the outside, inspect the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look. If you're at a gas pump and everything is a little messy except for that keypad, it looks pristine and clean, uh, this should be a red flag that there may be a skimmer on that. Uh, but inspect, pull, pull on the actual part where you slide your credit card through. Yes. Pull on that, see if it tugs or it gives any. There could be glue on the back of it. Because remember, these skimmers can go right over the top of okay. the actual machine itself. You uh, also mentioned to us that uh, in, in, in beside inspecting the card reader, you say protect your pin. That's that secret number I have. How do I protect that? Well, just place your hand over the keypad while you're putting in your pin. And this is for ATMs as well. When you slide your card, as soon as you pull your card out of your wallet, you should be covering that with your hand. As you slide it through the card reader, cover it, make yeah. sure that no one can get that. Because remember, cameras can be placed, and these are not cameras that you think a large camera. It can be like the top of a pin, mm -hmm. and so you cannot see it. Easy to get that. Also, you said, and this is, I think, makes sense, monitor your statements. Look for unusual activity. Right. It sounds simple, but right now we're so busy. The hustle and bustle of the season, you may not be look, looking at your statements like you should. If you don't have the app on your phone where you can monitor every transaction, make sure you do that. Set the, up the alerts with your banking or financial institution. But make sure you're monitoring every transaction, even if it's 50 cents. You want to make sure that you let them it. know. All right, folks. Good stuff here today. If you want to contact Kelly, you can do that. There is the email address, ktrevino at corpuschristi.bbb.org. She'd love to hear from you. Hey, when we return, a Massachusetts deli worker has become...